Hi folks, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to deal with dimensions without facts. So basically, if I go into the script and um, press Ctrl and E, you can see we have a product table and we have a transactions table. Obviously I've simplified this for um, this video or for demo purposes, but basically we have a product table containing just product, but of course in the real world we would have a product, product description, product group, product class and stuff like that. But basically if we reload that we can see we've got 30,705 products. But if we go into press control and T uh, control and T to see the table viewer and we look in the transactions table we can see that the subset ratio only makes up three percent. So in other words, um, in this main table for the product uh, dimension, it makes up of all of the products, but only three of three percent of those products actually exist within the transaction or the fact table. So in other words, we don't need the other ninety-seven percent, um, and it, we'd have a much better data model if if they were gone. So. One way of doing that is using the where it exists. So if we go into the script, and this is important because if we're using the where it exists, uh, the transaction table must come first. So for example, if we were to if we were to type in where it exists um, product, and then click reload, it will limit the products within the data set to 924 which is what we want however we press control and T we can see that there's the product uh, dimension table doesn't exist anymore we can't even preview it so that's not going to work so if we press control and E what we want to do if we're going to use the where it exists it needs to be after the main fact table so we need to put product down there and we need to the product table and then use the where it exists product and basically what that's going to do is that's going to it's going to load cuz click click few loads from left to right so it's going to um so down and left to right across sheets it's going to load the transactions table it's going to load the product a dimension table but only where the product exists from the previous table so if we uh, control R to reload again we're happy because we don't we no longer have 30,000 products we only have 924 and again if we press control and T we should now see that we can preview the list of products from the products table and both have a subset ratio of 100% and we get that from using the where exists. So in other words, we can using the where exists product, it will only load the products from the product table if those products exist in the transactions table. And that table has to come first if this uh, where exists clause is going to work. I am again if we were to copy this or cut it and paste and reload we uh, we still have a uh, 934 but if we press control and T it's there's no data we can't preview because this table contains no data if you press control and E to go back into the script and remove it again we get the full amount of 30,705 products and they'll be all in this list box of the 30,000 but only 3% of those actually have value. So if we uh, go in here and select all, you can see it's selected all products, but then, you know, 29,500 of those products are actually grayed out, so they're no use to us. So again, we come back into the script and we cut the products table, make sure it's under the fact table, which is transactions, and then add where it exists. Product. 
So now we reload the script. You can see there's no grayed out products. We clear it. We still only have 924 products. Yeah, press Ctrl and T. Subset ratio for both is 100%, so that means we have a much better data model. That's pretty much it. I hope that helps, and I'll see you next video. Cheers.